passport bros seem to be a high commodity nowadays so let's just go ahead and get straight into it this is another case of black women not minding their business y'all didn't care about meal order bras until black men happened to make it popular but of course you feel entitled to being the bbc commander when something no longer benefits you although these are the same men that you said you didn't want didn't need and they are broke i'm gonna be honest going overseas to travel frequently and live does not equate to broke but then again this just simply speaks to the delusion and hypocrisy of women these men have been very clear in their message they've said time and time again they want a wife someone they can build with start their family with someone they can create a legacy with which i heard was they wanted someone that they can control y'all minimize being a wife simply down to being a slave even so much as telling those other women overseas that they're uneducated and practicing sex tourism and in turn a lot of y'all have took your degree and traded it in for only fans profile Nobody said anything when women were going to Dubai. We know why you were going. Nobody said anything when women were flying state to state getting flewed out. We know what you were doing. Nobody said anything when Nigerian and Jamaican men needed green cards and y'all started falsifying marriage documents so you could drive your Range Rover with your red bottoms. Let's just call a spade a spade. Y'all wanted the option to go back to these men at the demand that you really wanted. This lady is really smart for breaking it down the way she did. See, she mentioned that these guys can't be broke. If they're going to country to country and they're constantly going on these vacations overseas, you, you can't be broke. You got Now, all these women complaining about the passport bros don't even want these men. They had their chance. They were here. They didn't want them. Now that they're overseas and they're out of this dating pool or this marriage pool, they're all bitter. They're all upset because they don't have this option. Passport brothers, get your passport. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, yes. You know what? All right, bet. We're done. We're done. I swear. Oh, You're so done. ungrateful. You're so ungrateful. I'm taking oh, all this stuff back. Just do better. Just do no, better. No, no, I'm taking all this stuff back. I need to be treated like a queen. I'll go get this to another female. I'll take all this stuff back. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Move. M move. Just do better. Move. I'll eat my. It's. Babe. It's constructive criticism. Just constructive do... criticism? You're ungrateful! Just do better! Yeah, you're ungrateful. You are ungrateful little shit, and that's what you are. I'm getting tired of this. You're never happy. Kind of Valentine's Day but you're never you happy. Did. You're never happy. Just you're be never honest. happy. You would like it if you were a girl and you got all this? Yes, I would be happy because this is people out here that ain't getting this. They're not getting that. God. I just spent I too much money. Better. You know what? I just spent way too much money. I should get the rose, the rose, like the big old thing. You give me like five roses. And there's like the problem today that women or people in general are so influenced by social media. So they see what all these people get. They're getting flown out on private jets. They have, you know, $10,000 bags, this, that, and the other going on yachts. And they think that's normal that everybody has a yacht. Well, that's not normal. This guy did so much work for his girl, bought her all these nice gifts, flowers, rose petals, chocolate, strawberries, and it's still not enough. And all she's complaining about is where's the money? Valentine's Day isn't about money. Nobody gives somebody money for Valentine's Day. This guy seems like a real good dude and there's like hundreds, thousands of women that would love and appreciate what he has brought to them. Dear Passport Boys, Dear Passport Bros, Stop calling yourself Passport Boys and Passport Bros. Are you going to the Philippines to look for a Filipina queen or what? So stop calling yourself Passport Boys and Passport Bros. Start calling yourself Passport Kings. That's right. You are a Passport Kings. Now, if you're going to the Philippines to so just pack around, pull around, screw around as many women as you want, then call yourself Passport Bros and Passport Boys. Otherwise, if you want to go to the Philippines to look for a Filipina queen and she will treat you like a king, then you better start calling yourself Passport King. I've been seeing a lot of this Passport Bros video going around where American women are getting kind of upset that men are leaving America to find their woman. But they go to places where women speak a little English, no education whatsoever. However, that's not the reason. The reason why men do that is because the women out there are loving caring nourishing feminine and the food like ah oh, top notch so it's like essentially what a man want I'm chinese i'm from hong kong we do shit on men a lot we are bossy however we do be praising them when they're being an excellent man versus i've seen a lot of women in america they would be like as he should you see the difference? Like, that's just very ungrateful. Men are really easy to please. Just give him his time and space. 
be his peace of mind instead of a headache when he come home. Respect him, appreciate him, let him lead, trust him, believe in him. I'm very traditional, and maybe some women are not like that, and they don't like that, which is fine. Do whatever that works well for you. And what I've been doing has been working very, very well for me. That's why I'm just, you know, sharing a little secret. It's so simple, but it seems like a lot of women don't understand that. Don't get me wrong, you can be an excellent woman, and once in a while, you still run into some assholes, right? So, again, go where you respect it. If it's not working out, leave and go where you respect it and keep doing you. Be a good woman. Why is it that an independent woman seems like she can't be a good mate, wife, or mother? Like, I still want to cook for my, even I if I'm busting my ass. It's counterintuitive, right? Because at what the, part is? Independent. Okay. Right? It's the same thing as saying that you want a dependent man. These two go opposite of each other because an independent woman depends on no one and a dependent man can't be dependent on. What should we depend on our man for? For protection, provision. It could be spiritual guide. It could be education. A man that wants to but You be haven't said money yet. The priest, the prophet. That's being well, a provider. That's, that's, that's provided. provision. But I'm saying like all of these things that I would want for a man, I would love a man pay for my shit. But pay. that doesn't mean that you can't have your own money. But, but also, why did you go directly to the independent and the dependent. Do because you not those believe are that, the polar opposites. But do you not society. believe that two independent people can exist together in a relationship? I don't think they need each other. I think that what is the point of having relationships? The same thing if you get a business partner that you don't need. He made a great point there. He said, what's the point of having a business partner that you don't need? Usually you may have all the money to start a business, but you need somebody with some ideas. You might need a sales team. You're not going to just find somebody else who has a lot of money because your money is more than enough. You need some ideas. You need some business to generate. You need something to create. Um, their families are not going to let these men marry their daughters because of how racist they are. Here we go again. I'm telling you, the passport bros must be really making strides because these women in America and in the Western world are scared out of their minds and they're trying to pull out all of the stops, including fear and racism now. They're saying that the passport bros can't go to Asia and get a wife because that Asian families are racist and will not let the men marry their wives. No, that's not what's happening. That's not the case. I've traveled to all of the countries that these passport bros are going to to find wives. And let me tell you something. I was treated very, very well. These people are loving and kind and they raised their daughters right. And their daughters didn't go out and have multiple babies by multiple men and now expect you to take care of them and other men's children that's how these modern women today are so stubborn they don't really understand what's going on they assume that men are going overseas to get women to be slaves nobody wants a slave people want a loving nurturing wife somebody that they can hold down the family build a family with and while they're busy at work being a provider they can take care of the household right they can still have a job but women in the western world all they want to do is be boss bitches you know, go clubbing, get free drinks from guys, get hit on by guys, and keep their options open. And now that men don't want them and understand that they have an option, they can go overseas and get a traditional woman, they are all upset. Modern women can't handle this. Like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm. Like oh. women can that can speak very little English. Women that don't have and, education. And not, women that, that need missing, them. Women that, that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. Mm -hmm. They learn everything in the, in from, from birth, from That's their right. father, from their mother, <laughs> how to be a wife and how to support your men. Women that need them. It's not even women That's that need them. It's women that treat them with respect. So we don't. Y'all know y'all don't. Stop. <laughs> no, like, stop just yeah, no, yeah, That's don't. not true. <laughs> You pay attention to the passport rolls, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Like oh. women can that can speak very little English. Women that don't have and, education. And not, women that, that you're missing, need them. You're missing one women that, that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. Mm -hmm. They learn everything and, and from, from birth, from their, right. father, <laughs> from their father, from their mother, how to be a wife and how to support your men. Women that need them. It's not even women That's that we, need them. It's women that treat them with respect. So we don't. Y'all know y'all don't. Stop. <laughs> no, like, stop just stop. Know That's don't. not true. <laughs> that one there was a violation.